I'm Father Mark Moriarty, and I'm pleased to welcome you to the Sacristy of the Church of St. Agnes in St. Paul, Minnesota. Here we have the vesture of the chalice. As you can see, this matches one of the vestments that we were highlighting earlier on. We have the chalice veil here. We'll speak about the veil on another episode. But here is the burse. And from even the earliest times of the church, there was some kind of special container for the linen that would be used to offer the sacrifice of the Mass on. And that particular linen is called the corporal. The corporal's folded in such a way so that if there are any crumbs, the crumbs from our blessed Lord fall into this particular crease. And the tradition in the Roman Rite is to use the paten to scrape along the corporal in a way that is practical, but typically along this crease, so that any crumbs after the transubstantiation can be gathered into the paten and then knocked into the chalice. This is very important because we do believe that the bread is changed into the very body of Christ. And we hear from early sources be even mindful of the smallest crumb because anything that's recognizable as a bread crumb after the transubstantiation, after the consecration has occurred, it is the body of Christ. And so the corporal collects that. First this fold will go into this area and then this fold on the right side and then the left side. And because of the importance of the corporal, we always keep it closed, and the very burst itself helps make sure that it's closed so any of those particles uh, are not going to fall out in any way. Bursts can be constructed either as a bellows like this that opens and shuts, or it can have just a little piece of string or material there to allow it to open. It usually hinges on one side. It has a cross on the top, as we've already mentioned, it's made of the same material usually of the vestment. It can also be sewn on three sides. And then one just bends the material, the little pieces of cardboard usually, and pulls the corporal out. Once the corporal has been set up, it is usually uh, the, corp the burst is then placed against the gradine. If there is a high altar, for example, the old mass on the left side, very often if it's a new mass, it's most practical to put it on the right side, but the opening by tradition is done toward the tabernacle. Also, if it's a freestanding altar, the burst can be set up in a tent-like fashion. Usually, again, in this case, if it's versus populum, facing the people. Thank you for joining us today and watching our video. I hope to see you soon sometime at the Church of St. Agnes.